Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel videos again. And today I will make a midterm reveals for Metron 26, the first midterm. And I'm just gonna like walk over some sample sample exam questions. Cause I will just, just send the most like a note sheet to the Discord and my website. And I hope my review is helpful because recently I've been really lots of schoolwork to do. So I didn't like write like many materials as, as I expected, but I'm still doing this video just to help you guys to do the midterm in this week. And I hope everything I provided are helpful. So just appreciate it. You understand like everything that I really thank you everything you guys did to me and I continue to make positive changes on your 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 education journey as you do. And I wish everybody have a have a meaningful, equitable and and it's a happy like education journey here. Okay, let's talk about the, the main topic here today that is um, the midterm one review, we were talking about the entire chapter 12, the first half of chapter 13 on first midterm. So on the chapter 12 is mainly for the vectors, but like a vector operation, like dot across product and some like how to recognize like 3D shapes, just based on like the, the expression and how we recognize Oh, like the old, old, old 3D shape, like a cylinder, like ellipse, sphere, or anything. So let's take a look of the sample problem here. So find a vector that is uh, has this of seven that is orthogonal to both the U and the V. So what is it to find a vector is orthogonal? The first thing to think is like the, the cross product. Okay, so the cross product is the thing that, that just uh, produces a vector. So do you cross V and we obtain a new vector? And I need to find the magnitude of the newly produced vectors magnitude and then we had to like had like a length here so we find it's like seven is the length and then we need to find a unit vector and then multiply unit vector by seven so first thing we need to do for one a it is use a cross product then find a magnitude of a newly produced vector then you find a unit vector that have the length and to multiply with the, and multiply the unit vector with the length. That is your answer for part A. And part B is like the, the, the distance from uh, part A to B here. So what I recommend because here's like the Here's like a component projection here. It's like triangle here and just like the point. I don't know if you ever see this. This will be the component projection of the vector. So you find this vector and this vector is find it A, A column point C or point D or so whatever point is and A, B. You need to find those two vectors. And then you can just uh, start yeah, to find this and then use like the equation to find those like the vector point here. So I'm just uh, give like equation sheet here. It's gonna be chapter 12, chapter 13. Because, so it is basically like example one review, I will pull out like the uh, like review sheet here. 
Pull up a deck stop here. So I'm just gonna see if I can open this up here again. Is okay, you can just to see this. This is like the uh, fact sheet. How do you find this component A and B? Just to find a a dot base a dot quarter, and there's a number, and then like next is also a number. That's just the length. Because whenever if you ever only find a length, like how long the vector is, then use the dot product because dot or dot product produce like a number. But cross product produce like a vector. So here's the main different thing. Orthogonality both here's the cross product. They're intersecting each other. They're like this. Consider the line through the through like a point zero zero one and three four five. And just to find the point where you intersect this cylinder x squared plus y squared equal to four. From this equation, and we recall like a circle, like a center is x squared plus y squared equal to z squared or r squared. This is like x equal to. And also, we recall like a uh, Pythagorean ring, I did this like. Cosine squared plus sine squared is one. So we can x equal to two cosine of t and y equals to two sine of t. Use the parametrization. <laughs> but in this case, we will not use the parametrization. Parametrization. What we will use it is. So what we will use it is like to find a line here. It's like x equal to zero plus three t, and it's like there's like a point here, and then y equals to zero plus four t, and z equal to one plus four t. It's just a parametrization by this one because there are two oh. points. So just like one kind of like directional vectors or whatever it is, and then you just uh, plug in with like x y squared equal to x squared plus y squared to four. Just uh, plug those into this into this quick case like equal to is when they intersect, and then just to uh, find a proper t values. And then just uh, pull it back in. Like, what do you find this line equation? Just zero plus three t equal to x. The zero plus four t is y. The one plus five t is going to be z. What's the one plus four t is z? And then you just uh, like. Find intersection point just to plug back in there. It's going to be three t squared, four t then squared go to four. So it's going to be twenty five t squared go to four. Then find the t values here, and then you maybe get two different values there. Once you find one, just Plot back in to like the line that is a new vectors. Okay, the next question is going to be like find the parametric equation for each line for the second plane x, y, z equals to 10 and this. So what do we first need to do is to find the p prime of t. So find the derivative of of this. Oh, wait, 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 no, 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 no. I was looking at the wrong question. Okay. 
so sorry. Okay, so what is likely point to do it at this point? It is to uh, so if there were like a two point, so what do you probably need to do it is to to add in two points together just to combine them like a minus. And we combine them as like 4y plus 5 is equal to 20. And then z it is a 10 minus x plus 10 minus x minus y. And then we just need to find it's like a y equals to a zero. A z equals to a zero. And then just the final point. And then just uh, you should get like a parametric equation like x plus whatever y equals to y because the plus z plus like whatever it is and then that is your parametric equations so find a precise name of this you have a both variables and rewrite them as like a z equals to 4x squared minus 5y. Back to this, it's a 4x squared minus 5 with a hyperbolic paraboloid. Just recognize those names and just to match the shape of like this 3D thing. For the arc that we have not learned it yet. So I will skip this one. Now let's do this question. It's, it's like another different exam. So it's a fine intersection of between two planes. It's like x plus y plus z equal to three, and x plus two y plus two z equal to five. Or maybe just a, don't just uh, say one, 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 one. Yep. Actually, if you're in, if they're intersecting, and we can just. Uh, Produce a vector here. First, to produce a vector is a one, one, one. And then next, I'm going to be one, two, two. There are two vectors. And how do you find the direction vectors used to cross product of one, one, one and the one, two, two? It's a new vector. And then you will like find like a parametric equations and just to find them like parametric based on the vector. And here's like the equation sheet. And if I'm gonna need it, it's like x equal to y p. This could be like normal vector, like the Direction vector that's just going to find parametric equations. <laughs> okay, question number two here, just so back to like the <laughs> distance here. So, with the first we consent to like the distance, and we define the two times distance of a PT. PDA, or perhaps you just define the point P, X, Y, Z. That is on the same thing. And then we just, just say like a two, two time like the distance of P, A, and then P, B, and then just uh, find the, find the distance function is like the, Using like a 3D distance 
using like a distance equation here. Using distance and then set is like uh, two distance P A equal to P B and then find the vectors and just find X, Y, Z and then find and then find is an equation. So it's like not like uh, like answer, but you're looking for like an equation of X, Y, and Z. So it's like these. Yes. <laughs> standard form. And then the center just uh, based on the, the equation provided by first part. <laughs> okay, the, the curvature for this one, just uh, you see curvature equations here, just to find RT and R prime prime T. For part and then for question number four, and then you needed to find that if x plus y equals equal to four, then it's like x is two sine of z, then y is going to be two cosine of z because cosine squared of x plus sine squared of x is one. And then curvature here, use like the curvature formula here and just uh, and just reapply it there. Okay. So it's like the P on the, and then, uh, yeah. That would be okay. That could be like a nanogram. Okay, let's gonna try this exams. It's gonna be Ostrov like winter twenty eighteen exams. So it's orthogonal to P. So it's like a nearest point. So it's like a nine. So it's gonna negative two, negative two, and then this. This will be like the point here, and then for T, this is gonna be the the coefficient of T. So it's gonna be x equal to negative nine plus two T. Y gonna be negative two plus a plus like a. <laughs> 3t and z is going to be 60 minus 5t. Beautiful parametric equations, then just re put back into this x, y, z to the, this equation. And then solve for t. And then once you get the t value, just uh, plug back in to like x, y, z equation. That's just the point that you want. And then if you just uh, try the okay, let's do number four. This gonna be like another questions. And if you just do is like give the equation of a quadratic surface on the R and T. We have this vectors. And they are equal to x, x, y, z. So we need to just write like the uh, x, y, z. We have x with z squared. So we have going to be like, and we, and we should write this like going to be x squared over four plus z squared over nine, equal to like 
t squared sine squared p plus t squared cosine squared p and just uh, finds like a y squared because you, you need to find it's like a y because blah 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 because like your ultimate goal is to find an expression contain contains all three variables which is x y and z and then based on what you have on part a you are able to recognize what is the shape okay so that's probably be like the uh the all like the all like the exact question i'm gonna go over because my brain's not really not really functioning well tonight so i'm just gonna go over some basic factor based off of this so what do you do to do all those like the basic fact sheet about like the vectors just less cross product that product of vectors like the point to the line the vectors identify those shapes if one variable is missing then this is cylinder and one variable is missing and then you just need to find those uh, like a basic curves and that will be then that will be it yeah, the part one or so the, or like the meter review for for method 26. well i hope you guys just appreciate it's like i i'm oh i have do my best just to, to help you so if i make any mistake feel free to point it out i will just change it for you okay thank you so much and i thank you for listening have a great night